Greetings, bays, bows, and boos. Welcome to the Locked Tome. I wanted to do a quick uncharacteristic appreciation post after my last video for an unlikely movie, Sting. Sting came out this year, 2024, to mixed reviews. I first heard about it through Mr. Gigi's watch video, where he mostly ranted but also had some good things to say, and I am of a similar wavelength. I gave Sting an average rating, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to people, but I want to highlight things that deserve praise because I want to see them more in movies. The practical effects in the film were commendable. This poor woman got riggedy wrecked by the alien spider monster of the movie in many ways, from icky acidic bites to it incising her with its legs from the inside out. Sure, the animal victims were a bit comical looking, this guy looks more like a Costco chicken than a defeathered parrot, but there was still effort put in. They didn't just green screen a scraggly parrot behind the bars, you know? They made that mangled puppet of a cat strung up in the vents, and that takes dedication, even if it's not the highest display of skill out there. Whether we needed to know the fate of the cat for narrative strength is a question for another time. <laughs> and personally, I found all the spider webs used to entrap people to be nice and sticky and icky. I hate that shit. If I touched something of that consistency in real life, I would probably just die on the spot. <laughs> However, the thing that I was most pleasantly surprised by and why I wanted to make this video was the title screen. Hopefully I can show most of it in this video, but if not, I will try to pick the best screenshots possible. Hopefully YouTube lets me. So after the opening sequence leads to a flashback of four days earlier, you know, the classic, how did we get here, a fun song plays as a ball of fire plummets through the atmosphere to Earth. It crash lands in the apartment complex, which hosts the following events, through a window, and into a dollhouse of that very same apartment complex. Although this particular character detail is of little consequence throughout the movie, the landlord is a doll collector, and this makes for a very meta introduction to the layout of the building as the spider hatches and wanders throughout the dollhouse. And I loved that. It felt so early 2000s. I was immediately more excited to watch the rest of the movie because introductions have just become such a throwaway thing in other modern movies, and this one was treated with such creativity. It showed care. Somebody cared, and I saw that. Clocked it and wanted to share it. Sometimes movies phone things in because, I don't know, they're afraid that the effort they put in will go unnoticed. But I want to be clear that when extra effort is noticed, it matters. It 100% affects the audience's reception of what follows. I don't think Sting is a great movie, but it is a good one. The stepfather-stepdaughter dynamic was fine, although it is concerning that it seems like the guy doesn't have a creative bone in his body and is just stealing whatever random bits of inspiration he can get from this little girl, which is odd. The illustrative styles between the daughter, the father, and the eventual product of their comic are all wildly different, but that's just a nitpick by me as a former artist. The biggest gripe that I actually have with the movie is the mother character who is inconsistent to the point of concern. <laughs> One scene she adopts a teenage tone like she's ready to feed off the drama of her kid and her partner having a spat, and the next she's throwing around ultimatums like their relationship is so rocky. For <laughs> no apparent reason other than her mood swings, of course, because they both work at home with a newborn in a building that's rent-controlled by her family. It really doesn't seem that bad. She's just freaking out <laughs> all the time over nothing. Although stereotypical to the extreme that I should probably be questioning its racism, I did enjoy the comic relief character. They ain't even clean your ducks out properly. I don't know what the fuck that mess is, but it smells like shit and it's disgusting. I actually enjoyed a lot of the character reactions to things. Like this one. Whoa! Fucking fuck. And this one. Like, his reaction was such an angry dad default. Like, don't ever talk to me and my son again. <laughs> there were many generally funny moments sprinkled into Sting, even though I'm not entirely sure I would call it a horror comedy, but it's close. I'm gonna go get some help, okay? Yeah? Yeah. But if the phone line comes back on, you have to call the police. The police? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Do you know the number? That number. The standout moment of the film for me was this. I loved this. I don't know. There's something just so pleasing seeing a less curated physical response to such a situation like getting tranked and hogtied by a spider. <laughs> Maybe I just liked it because the mother got spat on and I'm evil. There was plenty to like and some things to mildly dislike about Sting, but I wanted to talk about it because regardless of how objectively good it might be, I wanted to make it clear to all film creators out there that your effort matters. Viewers will notice and we will care more because you've shown that you care a bit more. I gave Sting a 3.5 out of 5 stars, and I'm sure that's partially because I was so impressed of the bits of practical effects and the banger opening skewing my perception of things, but honestly, I'm okay with that. Just because a movie earned their score in aspects that are something a little other than the writing or the acting doesn't mean that it didn't earn it. Sing is a perfectly good casual horror movie to pick up if you want to. I will say that the ooey gooey parts were even done well enough that it might give you the ick though, so be warned. Let me know your thoughts on Sting in the comments, like, subscribe, and support me in the links below if you feel so inclined. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!